Hey everyone, uh, this is a quick little demo on how to uh, use uh, Flubrew to grade both a um, multiple choice and mixed with a uh, free response test. Um, and uh, I just want to say I kind of stumbled upon it. Um, so let me show you what, what, what I found. So um, I kind of created a little quick demo quiz here. Um, I I require that the Hiltons use uh, the the students who use their login, um, and the, they automatically collect the username. That way, I have it and never have to worry about them putting in the right email address and that kind of thing. Um, so what it is, it's a quick little demo quiz. I include the period, last name, first name, and that's for sorting capabilities. Um, and then I have four multiple choice. You know, just quick question there, um, and then a paragraph type. So if I were to look at this, this is a paragraph text. Um, every one of the questions I had were required. And um, I have this question 5A, which is a regular short text. Um, and that is that is not really a question, but that is where I'm going to respond whether they answered it correct or not um, in the sheet. OK, so now we can view the live form. And uh, why don't we? Um, I'll create in a little answer key. So this is answer key. And we'll say number one is one, number two is two, number three is, let's make it three, and number four is four. Okay, so now for this one, add in that. Now I got it. And for number five A, I'm going to write in correct okay and I'm going to submit okay so um, now I'm gonna go back to here and I have one response so I want to review that response okay and there is my answer um, per se I like to make this a little bit more uh, user-friendly here I like to make them so it kind of shows me only the amount that I really need and for this whole row, I am going to allow format text wrapping. Okay, and then over here, shorten this question up here. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm going to go back to this form. And I really don't want this question number 5A to appear on there. Um, because it's only for my purposes so um, I'm going to delete it now deleting it this is the th part this is how I kind of discovered it deleting it what it does is it just removes it from the form um, once you have your answers saved in there and you write it as correct or you, know, you can just put C for correct um, if you wanted to but I think it makes it look a little bit nicer for the um, for when you email the responses out, um, it keeps it on the spreadsheet. So, which was like uh, first first uh, made my my uh, quiz incorrectly, and I was like, oh, I'll just delete these from the form, and then oh wait, um, they're still on the spreadsheet, which made me think later, whoa, maybe I can use that. So, um, so that's kind of the cool part about this whole thing. So. Um, still keeps my responses there it hasn't changed this at all so let me go back in here and now I'm going to take this again and view the live I'll grade the assignment maybe that will help maybe I need to grade the assignment first okay so it brings this up here um, period last name username first name that all that stuff is there to um, to organize. Um, what I'm going to do though is because question five is that long extended response and, and uh, Flubaroo cannot recognize that and it will not be able to grade it. So I'm going to skip the grading here but I'm going to keep it on the 5A for correct or incorrect and I will continue. And of course, I need to identify which is the answer key. And I'll continue. So 
now it's grading it. Looks like grade complete. View the grades. So I have a separate thing here now. Um, and what I can do, actually, what I, so notice that it made two of my questions incorrect, that multiple choice that I missed, and right here it, it listed, you know, that I missed that question. Now, um, I haven't gone back yet and told it to miss that question, but let me go back to student submissions now. Let me see now if I can add in the help tips. Ah, there we go. Okay, so what I want to do, because this will not be graded, the students will not get the answer key for this, so um, unless I put it in the help tip. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it, actually even better yet, I can cut this out, and I'll put it into the help tips. Okay, didn't like that, so I'm going to copy instead. Copy and then paste, okay. And I can just eliminate that. Okay, so um, so there's my answer. Okay, so now what I do when I'm grading these, and I'll, you'll get a whole list of these uh, in there. Um, I will say, okay, it does this fit one of the possible choices here? And uh, let me extend this out a little bit. Okay, so there's three possibilities, forest ecosystem, we've got to get nitrogen. Basically, this question comes from the fact that the grizzly bears eat fish and bring their carcasses back into um, the environment. So um, here we go. So I, I said bears will overpopulate, which, which is not correct. So I'm going to write incorrect here. Now, if, if I go ahead and I regrade this, grade the assignment. It's going to ask me to do all those things again. So again, uh, I graded it. Um, it listed this is wrong because I put incorrect instead of correct in there. Um, and let's just try to do the same thing, but let's just say I did get it correct. Let's say that was a correct answer. So I'm going to go in and I say correct enter and now let's regrade it you would only have to do the grading twice the first time to set the answer key and then um, and then insert the help topics um, but then the second time so now notice hey look at that question 5a I got correct so now my grade goes up to an 80 percent which was a 60 okay so that, that's pretty neat. So now let's see what it looks like if I were to email these grades out. Okay, so I'll again go to Fluberu and now I want to um, email the grades. And I'm going to include an answer key. Uh, I'm not going to put a message in, but you could. And continue. Okay, so um, let me jump ahead here and show you um, a full quiz that I set up. Um, this is a review quiz for a um, living environment test. So um, I can kind of show you. Uh, I've, I've kind of hid some of the username and that kind of things for my students. Um, then I have a whole list of 12 multiple choice. Here is my first extended response, number 13. Um, the answer key is in this row that's highlighted and uh, there's another one 14 and notice there's that 14 a um, and I put above here that this tells you if your answer for question 14 was correct or not that's simply just simply to um, to show them um, you know what what the purpose is of that when they get their e grades emailed here is another um, question okay and 
then I've got a series of vocabulary. And uh, okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to grades, and it shows me all these. And um, I have not emailed my students the grade yet. At um, this last one is me. I kind of squash these down to, uh, so you don't see my uh, students. Um, but I'm going to uncheck the email the grade. Oh, to, to prevent them from being emailed, just check all these boxes with an X that prevents them from being emailed. Um, so this is my little dummy response over here so I can see what it looks like. Um, and now I'm going to go up to the add-ons, Flubaroo, and I am going to email the grades. And uh, when I email the grades, it'll allow me to see what it looks like. So here we go. And when ask me, okay, uh, email address question, I'm going to use a username um, that tells me which one they're going to use. It's the problem I was doing it before. I'm going to include an answer key and continue. And okay, so one grade of 58 were not sent because they were already checked. Okay, so let me check for number one. So what this is what the students would get. Um, so I had a little password to prevent them, the students, from um, just doing the quiz beforehand. Um, so when they got in the class, I told them the password was mitosis. So, um, and again, I put a, just a bunch of dummy questions in here. So the first one is incorrect, incorrect, correct. Okay, so here's those multiple choice. And now... Here is the first one, okay? And I just put in yes, here is the answer key. Now I had to, to put this in here, I had to add this to the um, help, edit the help box, okay? And then over here, I added the help box, so it says this tells you if your answer to number 13 was correct or not. Notice they never even saw what is 13A, they never even seen it before. So my answer I had written down incorrect. Um, and the only way they get this right and turned green is if that I were to type in the word correct. Okay, here's the next one, not graded. And let me show you what it looks like if they get one correct. This one right here. <clears throat> so I put height of the plants, which is one of the possibilities, height of the plants. Okay. Um, so that was correct. And then there were their safety goggles. That's another correct one. So so they get that response. Um, and I want you to notice too, you can put in, which is great for differentiated, if you got a bank of your YouTubes, or even if you um, use other people's YouTubes, you can put this in here too. Um, and that will be like a video that describes this question. In this case, it was a question on mitosis. So, <clears throat> which also appears, all these videos will appear on the bottom. Okay. So, okay, so that does it. Thanks.